All right. So, yeah, I feel very strongly that your spirit guides are coming through. Okay. Um, they want you to know, number one, you show appreciation to the divine every day for how far you've come in this journey, how much your life has changed. I feel like you've been able to look back on everything now and realize why you had to go through um, basically, it was gut-wrenching pain, I feel, but why you had to go through all of that. You've been able to rebuild. You've been able to rebuild your life on a solid foundation that's built to last, okay? Um, you've learned your lessons here. You've learned every queen in the deck um, in this picture. And so you're in Empress Energy right now. Now you're, um, you're stable. You're grounded. You, um, you're sitting on a solid foundation that you've built for yourself, okay? You've reinvented yourself. You've gone through the hurt process, you know, being hurt, being betrayed, and having to um, build yourself back up, okay? You have a lot to be proud of um, in, in all of this. All right, you have really come so far and you're showing appreciation every day to the divine, but your spirit guides are saying thank you as well to you, okay? Um, I, I just feel like they're very grateful for getting the lessons, right? Learning those lessons, passing your tests, the energy that you put out there, the understanding that you have that your good energy will be returned to you and negative energy is being sent to whoever is sending you negative energy, right? You have an understanding of how the energy works. You now have the understanding and the knowledge of how to manifest, how to raise your vibrations, how to cleanse your energy. Like you've learned it all, okay? And spirit is so proud of you. Your spirit guides are so proud of you, okay? They're saying also that there is some kind of project or something that you're going to be birthing, something that you're going to be taking action towards, okay? This could be something that um, you've been learning about, right? Maybe you spend long hours to working on maybe a craft, a, a new project. That's going to bring you to a lot of abundance. It's going to open a lot of doors for you, um, a doors of opportunity, right? Uh, I feel like you're using your intuition here. You're the goddess of the moon and spirit, your spirit guides. I feel like they're sending you confirmations of that. Uh, you may be in very close communication with them. I will tell you what I do. I, I talk to the divine all day in a lot of different ways. But when I'm ever in doubt about anything or I have a question about anything, I go, I, I go to a pendulum. Like I have, I have three of them. This is one of their favorites. Um, so I'll ask them yes or no questions with the pendulum and they always answer me like right away. They're always there with you. Okay, and I feel like that's what they, they want you to know that they're always there with you. Okay. Even in times when you have felt alone, um, right now we're in a time where it almost, it may feel like they're not around you. I feel like that's why they're talking to you here. You may feel like, I don't know, maybe they're not coming in as clearly as they usually do, or maybe you just don't um, feel that support from them as much as you used to, something like that, but they're telling you that they're always with you. They are always with you. Right now, I've been picking up in the readings um, that they could be taking shifts, okay? It feels like shift work. Like some of your spirit guides will be around you at, at some point, and then others will be off somewhere else. I feel like they're fighting your battles for you when it comes to whoever's wronged you. So they're, they're haunting now. They're haunting your enemies for you. And they're kind of doing this shift work. So you may be able to um, pick up on their energy stronger at certain times of the day. I'm hearing something about nighttime. Nighttime is um, maybe difficult for your people or for whoever these enemies are. Not your people, but the, the people that have been hating on you. It's getting, they're making it really difficult for these people, especially at night. So maybe during the day... 
um, you could be reaching them a lot clearer, okay? Reaching your spirit guides a lot more clearly or feel them around you during the day or morning hours. And then at night, um, at night it's quieter, right? Um, at night I feel like your spirit guides are being sent in to haunt your enemies. That's why. But they're always here to support you. You, If you were to call to your spirit guides at any time, I'm telling you, shoot, they're there. Okay? They are there. Now, I feel like a lot of you have more than one spirit guide. Okay? You could have a group of four of them. Okay? Um reaching you telepathically this is a lot of telepathic communication between you and your spirit team okay so like if you have four spirit guides right two of them are going to be sent to haunt your enemies at night and two of them will be around you you see what i'm saying it's almost like they're doing like a split shift <laughs> okay um yeah but, um, yeah, I feel like they're about to open some new doors of opportunity for you. They want you to focus on new things. Or they want you to also start a project. They want you to um, take action on something here. Um, I feel like it's whatever you've learned, the lessons that you've learned, whatever you've been studying, um, as far as like um, a new area of your spirituality, right? You could be studying like um, astrology. You could be studying um, how to read tarot. You could be studying um, crystals and the properties of crystals you could I mean there's so many different areas you could get into okay you could just be studying doing some Bible study here something like that I feel like you've been really working hard on whatever this is and so spirit may want you to start a new project with with this knowledge that you have you're gonna sense it okay whoever I'm talking to you've already felt the push to start something new all right. So they're urging you to do that. Okay. You may be holding yourself back from that. Maybe you're a bit nervous or stage fright or second guessing yourself. And they're telling you don't second guess yourself. Look at how far you've come already. And, and you were spiritually led right through a journey that was difficult. And Spirit's like, we know you can do this. We're giving you the knowledge. We're giving you the strength. We know you can do this. So whatever project that is, Spirit wants you to start it. Okay? I feel like, um, I don't know why. When I, when I touch this card, I'm feeling protective energy. So I feel like you have another Spirit Guide here. So far, you've got four. Okay? Um, you have another spirit guide here who, they want you to write something down. This could be even you writing a book, okay? Writing a book because um, you're holding a book in your hand. I'm just seeing this feather. They may even be leaving you feathers, um, pennies, things like that to let you know that they're around. Or you could be seeing a lot of feathers on the ground where you're walking. Feathers are significant right now. In this reading um, but yes there's somebody that you may even have a spirit guide that maybe it's a passed on loved one or a passed on ex okay they're coming in through really strong they want you to know that they love you um, this is somebody who could have passed away um, I don't know fairly recently maybe This could be a masculine that's passed away. They want you to write some kind of book or do some journaling. Um, even if it's writing down nonsense in a book, I, I feel like it's all going to come together for you. Okay? Yeah, there's, some, there's somebody here I feel who's passed on who's saying that they love you. 
I feel like too, they're sending you in. They're um they're trying to pick someone for you that's gonna be really, really good for you. Like you're about to get new love, new love, new opportunities. Yeah, that's this yin and yang. You have a passed on loved one who was in love with you, okay? And they're trying to figure out, you know, um, what soulmate connection is going to be perfect for you. This person wants you to be loved. So if you're feeling guilty, like say, um, say you were in love with this person and they passed away and you may be feeling guilty about moving on to new love, don't. Don't feel guilty. That's what I'm hearing. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Uh, they're sending you somebody who's going to be the perfect match to you for you. Okay. This is somebody who's working with your spirit guides or maybe they're going to become a new spirit guide. Yeah, they want you to release them. Okay, you could still be in love with this person. You know, you have love for them. This is someone from your past. It could have been someone from way in the past. Okay, way in the past. Um, but I feel like they want you to release the burden and the baggage and the pain and the guilt. Okay, they want you to um, put this in your past. Because this person is bringing you in someone who's going to love you. Um, the right way, okay? The yin and yang. And I feel like this is some, you're someone who has been very patient, very kind, very giving. You're trying to be balanced in your emotions as well. If this is a passed on loved one and they've recently passed on and they're still heavy on your mind and you may feel heartbroken over this, I feel like, um, I feel like they're just always with you. They'll always still be with you. I'm, I'm seeing this jar. This person could have been cremated. You may have some of their ashes or a piece of their ashes. Um, I feel like they're always with you, okay? All right? Then they're not in the urn. They're, they're around you. Their energy is still around you, watching over you, and they want you to be loved. They don't want you to feel alone, and they don't want you to feel guilty for moving on. Okay? You got a lot of, um, a lot of spirit around you that's reaching out in this reading. Okay? They're all reaching out to you. Yeah. What else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, they have a caring connection that's on its way. This is, this is somebody who has loved you in the past, who has, who has passed on. And it doesn't even have to be recent. This could be somebody like from your way past past. Okay? Maybe they never stopped loving you. Or maybe they just see you deserve love. But they're mixing up a new soulmate connection for you. That's going to be very caring. This is somebody who could have like hugged you from the back. Okay. They could have done this a lot. That's significant for someone because the hair is standing up on my arms. So I'm starting to feel cold as well. So I feel like this person is kind of like around there. I can feel them on my thigh. Okay. I don't know what that's about. This person used to like hug you from behind and touch you on your thigh i don't know i feel like they're giving you a hug okay they're wanting you to know that they think about you okay this is somebody who could have given you like wildflowers you know someone who may have picked flowers for you often Yep, that was on the bottom of the deck. Ten. You're going to sense this person kind of crossing over. You may even sense them. Like, look at how your eyes are closed. Okay, this is a victory card, and you are going to have a victory. Spirit's going to see to that. But with your eyes closed here and picking up on this person's energy, you can feel them. Something about them, like, blowing on your cheek here. Okay, you can feel them touching your face 
or blowing on the side of your face, they're around you. They could be coming through, like you could possibly see them as an orb of light as well in your house. You're feeling this person's energy. You're definitely getting um, possibly a lot of like psychic activity, like um, paranormal kind of activity around you in your home. You could be seeing little flashes of light. You could be get, um, seeing a lot of feathers, a lot of pennies. Look at the pennies. Look, this is totally your spirit guides. You could be seeing a lot of keys or um, that you could have like some kind of cabinet or something in your house that you were never able to open before and now you can. Okay? And there's those little sparkles of light. Do you see them? I'm telling you, everything is being confirmed here with this one card. All the coins, the pennies that um, just, uh, they end up anywhere. Right? Have you noticed that in your home? Or feathers, feathers like either um, where you're walking or um, dropping from the sky is really what they're showing me is like feathers coming down in front of you. Okay, this is this person letting you know that they're there. This is your spirit guides, the whole team here, letting you know that they're here. Okay, letting you know that they're around you. Letting you know that they're protecting you. Giving you a hug from behind. Blowing on your cheek. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you guys. All right, so. And they want you all, they all want you to know that you're very appreciated. All right. They know that there's jealous, envious people around you as well. I feel like they're protecting you. They're protecting you. Jesus is out here as well, opening the door to spirit. I'm just feeling like a lot of protection. I'm seeing each one of these little flecks of light um, as a, a, a part of your spiritual team. This could also be ancestral energy, okay? And again, with the feathers, you guys, the feathers and the little orbs of light. See, this is what you're going to see. These little specks of light or orbs of light, okay? You've got spirit guides coming in through this door. Um, Jesus is here. Holy cow, everybody, look. And I feel like everybody is, is so happy about you, proud of what you're doing, proud of all you've accomplished. Spirit's going to be giving you some a cornucopia, okay? Um, you know, and I'm feeling like this is a mix, too, of spirit guides, a passed on loved one, and ancestors. That's the cornucopia. But yeah, you're about to also get a lot of abundance. Um, you're about to get a new soulmate connection. You're feeling all of this energy around you with your intuition. When uh, you're seeing orbs of light and movement in your home, that, but you don't feel afraid of it. That's your spirit team because you know, you intuitively know those are your spirit guides, man. People working for you. Okay. Yeah, rest and rejuvenate. Spirit could be guiding you to rest and rejuvenate now. I feel like in, in meditation, it looks like this person is meditating, right? You're going to really um, be able to pick up on all of these passed on loved ones, ancestors. You're going to be able to pick up on their energy. You're going to feel touched by them. You could be getting sensations in your back as well. Um... You could be feeling a lot of coldness in your home, okay, or cold air around you. This can happen at any time, anywhere, okay, because they they travel with you, all right? Um, I feel like... I feel like they want you to rest and rejuvenate because you're about to take some kind of action here in your life. 
and create something big and very important, something you're being led to create, okay? Um, so I feel like your life is about to kind of take off in a, very quickly. So they're saying to rest, rejuvenate, keep prayed up. Okay, keep praying, keep communicating with the divine. You could be finding a new way to communicate with the divine. I'm also seeing about something about an, uh, an altar. Um, and something about getting wings. Okay, because there's like a, a, like a heated sensation in your back or your shoulder blades. Okay. But yeah, you could be setting up an altar, finding a, a like a, a peaceful place to get in touch with the divine, to speak to your spirit guides. They like you doing this. They like your altar or they like your idea for an altar. Okay, you could have one of those big poofy cushions that you sit on because it looks like this person is sitting on one of those cushions. They like the way you meditate. They like the way you talk to the to spirit and the divine. Okay. What else can you show me? You could be doing this in nature as well. Okay, your altar could be outside or you could like, I, they're showing me boulders in my head. So maybe you have like, you found a spot somewhere off the beaten path of possibly some kind of park and there's all of these big rocks right it looks like um, a natural altar or this could be some place of worship where other people go as well um, you may even leave offerings I'm hearing something about leaving an offering on this big huge stone that could be your altar okay to the divine they're very grateful for that. This is something that they truly appreciate. Okay. I feel like your, um, your intuitive abilities are going to be rubbed up as well. You're getting a lot of downloads right now from spirit, from your spirit guides. Maybe they're guiding you to build, uh, build an altar like that, something like that. You're, you're, when you meditate in this way, wh whatever way you have found to speak to the divine, when you do this, they're, um, they're reaching you almost immediately, okay? Something about your eyes. Like, um, I don't know, maybe while you're meditating or something, you, like, the color of your eyes are, there's something about the color of your eyes maybe brightening, something like that. I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're just opening your eyes or opening your third eye. This could be your third eye. Yeah, they're telling, they're giving you some messages here. I feel like they, do, they want you to keep moving forward and don't look back. Don't look back. Just stay in your lane. Keep moving forward. Keep focusing on future things that are going to make you happy, that, things that will raise your vibrations, okay? I feel like they're telling you not to look back. You could be also seeing a lot of butterflies around you. Okay, they're pointing you in a completely different direction. So some of you are having a hard time walking away from someone. Okay, but what you're staring at here is something that's kind of, it's died out. This tree is dead and over. It's done. So they're showing you a new direction here. And I feel like they just want you to face forward and just keep moving into your future. Okay? This could also be this passed on person, if you still have love for somebody who is passed on. Um, that person, I feel like you're, you're being urged to go in a different direction, okay? All right, and that person is bringing in some, they're handpicking someone new for you. They're handpicking someone new, and chances are, when you meet this new person, 
like say um, say this person who's passed on, they used to hug you from behind, right? Hold you from behind like this and wrap their arms around you, right? This new person's going to do much of the same thing. They're going to they're going to have some synchronicities about them. You're going to know that this person was handpicked by this um, passed on loved one. Okay. I hope that makes sense. And I feel like whoever this particular person is, the spirit who's passed on, um, you were definitely like in love with this person. Okay. It was someone who was very caring. But I feel like they want you to close the gate on everything from the past and focus on the garden that you're standing in now. Okay, here's your garden, right? All of this abundance around you. They just want you, as soon as you close this gate too, I feel like your, your mind gets much clearer. It may, it may be easier for you to communicate with your spirit guides. So they're asking you to walk away from old things, put down the burdens and the baggage, right? And keep moving forward and don't look back. Just keep moving forward and don't look back. Yeah, I feel like um, you're going to be birthing a new project here. Or this new connection that you get with, you're, you could end up getting pregnant with this new person and have a baby with them. Okay. This, this person who's passed on, they, they are telling me they want you to have everything in life that you wanted. You know, maybe at one point you and this person talked about having a family together. It's making me want to cry. I'm so sorry I'm making you cry. Whew. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to make you cry. But they're saying that um, you need to release them. So, th and they're going to move on. They're going to, they're going to cross over. Okay. And, um, but they're sending you someone that you can share a family with in the future. They, um, someone that's going to love you and hold you the, the, much the same way they did in the future. They're sending you this new person and you're going to know by the things that this new person does, you're going to know they were handpicked for you by this one that has passed on. Okay. Oh, yeah, here they come, too. Here they come. Yep, so this new person's being sent in now. I feel like they're real close, okay? And they will pursue you. They're going to they're gonna want to, like, it says here, it's showing me chasing after you. Um, but, yeah, they're going to want to date and court you, okay? Because you're the angel of love. This person says that you deserve to be loved. I'm sorry. I'm crying again. Please, sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, I was going to say, please don't make me cry on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm making someone cry here, but this person is saying you're too, you, you're too loving, you're too good to be alone, okay? They are literally handpicking this person for you, and this is going to lead to a commitment, okay? I feel like they do not want you to feel guilty. I don't know why I'm picking up on like, you may feel guilty for whoever this is for. And this is not going to be for all of you. This part here is very specific. Okay. Um, for whoever you are, you may feel guilty for moving on because the, um, you love this person. Okay. And they loved you, but they're telling you not to, not to be guilty. You know, just keep moving forward. You're, you're about to be loved, the, you know, um, the way this person wants you to be loved. Okay, and there are going to be a couple of similarities between this new person and this person from your past who has passed on. Okay, there are going to be some very important similarities that are going to tell you that this passed on person has handpicked this new person for you, okay? It will lead to a commitment. It will lead to building a family together as well. You know, I'm sorry, I feel like crying again, you guys. I'm really sorry that I made somebody cry. 
I'm really sorry. It's so sweet, though, isn't it? All right, so um, what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? You're just a sweetheart, you know? This person wants you to be loved the right way. Did they have some kind of nickname for you? I don't know. You're going to get some messages here, okay? I feel like your spirit guides are giving you this message. I, and they're also saying that you're, you may be doing too much. You may need to slow down and have some rest time, okay? You have been, um, I feel like you've been working really hard. You've been really flexible. You've been trying to balance your life out. Um, I just feel like, a, like you're, you could be getting drained here. Like, um, it just feels draining. So maybe you need to rest a little bit, take a time out, okay? Just take some time for yourself. I feel like Spirit has shown you that too. They want you to take some time for yourself, maybe get outside. Yep, while they balance the scales of your life. Okay, and um, also whatever, th whatever this is that you've been learning or studying or you've been working on a project, they want you to take serious, serious action on that. And in order to do that, you need to be well rested. Okay, so this could be, you could be um, urged to, to have some rest time. Okay, rest and replenish, get outside, get grounded. Something about, you know, um, getting a lot of your energy from outdoors. You know, walk around barefoot in some grass, right? Yeah, because you've been going by the book. I'm just feeling heavy spirit guide energy, okay? They may even be talking to you in your dreams. All right? They may be guiding you to get around water, take a spiritual bath. I feel like um, anytime, anytime that you're um, questioning something or in doubt, you go to the divine and they soothe you, they ease your mind, okay? They reassure you. Yeah, this is them talking to you. This is, this again is this person coming in, okay? This is this person coming, coming through. Um, whoever this passed on loved one is, man, they can't tell you enough that they love you. They're always here for you, okay? It's like they're always um, watching you. And they, they just want you to know, too, they're sending you in an, a new soulmate connection, okay? Who's going to cherish you like they did, all right? Anyway, you guys... Um, yeah, the, a lot of messages from your spirit team today. I'm sorry I made someone cry. Okay, I hate doing that. I'm really sorry for that. But it was an important message that needed to come through from this person. And um, that part is very specific. It's not going to be for all of you, but it's your whoever needs to get this message is going to get this message. Okay?